Hello and welcome to the Beastly Mind Tutors. Today I'm going to show you how to build an animal farm. Uh, this animal farm works very well. And you're going to build, start by building a structure similar to this. One right here. If you want to put a roof over the animals' heads so they don't get struck by lightning or the fences don't catch on fire just in case, just a precaution. You can, but you don't have to. And I am gonna start by showing you how to get the animals into these things right here. Okay, so you're gonna put a minecart right there and have some pigs in like your fence area, fence there in area. And you just do that. Hopefully one will go in. You can just push them in if you want or use the wheat to get them in. There goes one. And then this one. Then you can just push them up. Like so. Hold up. Uh, I forgot to do one thing. But that's okay. Um... Before you actually do the animals, you gotta do this part right here. Make a circle with the rails. Take that one out and put a powered rail in. And then he can go. Then he can go on there like that. And you put a rail right there too. And then you can push the other guy up. like so and then once they're on you also want to put a block where the pair uh, on the end of the powered rail and then a lever and you want to turn the lever on and you always want to keep it on because the if once you leave the game and if the animals aren't moving or the carts aren't moving the animals will get out of the carts once you come back into the game so you want to make sure that they're moving, so you keep it on. And then, you are just going to breed them like this. You stop it. Then give that one the wheat, then the other one the wheat. Make sure you don't accidentally hit the minecart, and then you go inside the minecart and the pig will come out and it's just a pain to get the pig back in because I've done it a few times so yes and then this thing right in here hold up I'll show you what it is um, it's just this here with some water I put I put the water on right there and then two in the middle and one on the other side of the end and then the water just goes down and then drops one. And then it goes down there and then there's two half steps from that opening right there. I should probably not stop on the wheat. But, yeah. Oh, man. Um, so, then, yeah, and you want to make sure the gaps in between the, the little animals is um, that big because it's just easier for the baby animal to fall in there. And then you just want some sticky pistons right there. It's basic redstone with redstone repeaters. They lead up to there. And then down here you want to well you want to put blocks on the end because the animals might do this right here. They can like go towards the end and walk on the edge like this and they won't fall down as easily and fast. And that that might like really make you mad because you really want them to just go down there right now. But okay, then down here you want to make a little drop because the, the cows don't die automatically when they hit the fire. They survive the fire, so this drop hurts them a little bit and then makes them on fire so that the cows die. And then you want to make it this two 
blocks down because uh, so the animals don't get back up on the fire and then you lose your drops once once they die. So let's release him. And you can make him go faster with wheat or you can push him in if you like. Or whatever works. There goes the cow. He's going down there. Just push that guy down. Okay. And as you can see, I like the put the fire method because it cooks the stuff for you. Like there's cooked beef right there. And the pig didn't drop anything, but see if we can get the pig to drop something here. Okay, he didn't drop anything either. That's ticking me off. You. Okay, that guy dropped some cooked pork chops. As you can see, they're cooked. And you won't have to go put them in a furnace or anything like that. Which is really like makes me mad and stuff. All those make me mad, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay, then for the sheep, I found it really useful. This method right here. It's basically the same thing as the other side, except in here there's pistons down here that the redstone is powering. As you can see, they're right here. They're holding the water. And you just let the sheep go. Just make him go a little faster. Come on, sheep. You can do this. There you go, there's one. Then they'll fall down, and again, you want to make the drop two blocks down so they can't get back up, up in here. And then you're going to do, you're going to take the shears and you're going to leave an opening so you can shear them like that. That way you get the most wool out of the sheep. See there's three blocks instead of just killing him and getting like one block of wool. And then when you want to kill him you just release the pistons and he'll drown by the water. And you want to put this, this glass up here so he can't swim out, up and out of this place just in case. And then this chicken coop right here is really useful I think because you can just start by building this right here. You don't have to use glass I just did. Then put water on the end on one side and then this side you're going to put glass panels and this can get you a lot of eggs. Let me show you how many eggs you can get. So all you have to do is walk along the side and over time this can get you a lot of eggs and also depending on how many chickens you have in there it can get you a lot of eggs you don't have to walk in it and pick up the eggs or anything like that and then what you're going to do is put a regular piston right here facing that way and you're going to make it go right over there and the chickens fit through this small um, gap right here right there and again, you're going to make some nether rack and some fire and then a two block drop. And it also cooks the chicken for you. It's just an easy way. As you can see, they're falling down and they're getting burned. And there's some cooked chicken. Yep. And, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I will be coming out with more videos soon. Thank you for watching.